Yo, what is up everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your NVIDIA control panel. Now this is something really easy, really simple to do, and it should give you massive amounts of PS improvement and less input lag and all that sort of stuff. So first things first, you want to figure out what GPU you have. So as you can see, if you already have NVIDIA control panel, you just open it, click the home button right here. And as you can see, the GeForce GTX 1650, in my case, yours obviously will be different. In terms of driver version, I know a lot of people are going to ask this. It depends on which game you're going to be playing. So if you're going to be playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, you're going to be wanting to go on 526.86. This is what Activision recommends, and this is what nvidia recommends as well basically i know a lot of youtubers tell you to update your drivers every time one comes out stop doing that you do not need to update your drivers every time a new one comes out if there's a game that you just recently bought that needs a newer driver go ahead and update the driver otherwise stick to whatever driver you're on already and now there are drivers that are certainly more stable than others so i'm on 526.86 right now and running perfectly fine I play COD, I play some Valorant here and there. Now, if you're playing Fortnite or Valorant or Apex Legends or any sort of the other games that don't really need a newer driver, you could try testing out different drivers, but beware, every time you reinstall a driver, it's gonna take a couple of matches in order to build up the shader cache. And basically what the shader cache is, it's a cache that needs to be built up every time you reinstall drivers, where if it's not built up, then it's, you're gonna have some performance loss and all that because it's not cached in the shaders that are needed to run the game. That's that. That's why a lot of people kind of say, as soon as they update the driver and loading the game, they're like, wow, I have FPS drops. Well, it's because of shader cache, you didn't let it build up. That's that for GPU driver versions. I'll leave some links to whichever one you need in the comment section below. And let's get right into the NVIDIA control panel specifically. So let's go to adjust image settings with preview. And this is a really important step. All we need to do is click use the advanced 3D image settings. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, wait, why are we doing this? This is still on quality. It doesn't matter. This slider, all it does is just change whatever it's in managed 3D settings, which will be changing to custom settings ourselves. So ignore the slider, leave it alone, use the advanced 3D image settings, make sure that it's selected, press apply, and then we'll go to the managed 3D settings. Basically, copy whatever I do, but these should be very similar to what settings you have. So anisotropic filtering, that's what's set on AX, we'll be turning that off anti-aliasing you could do application controlled but in my case i'm just going to be turning off completely and if you do use anti-aliasing you want to you want it to be on application controlled otherwise just keep it off coda gpus make sure this is on all dsr factors off low latency mode this is really important if your gpu is hitting 99 percent so go to task manager performance tab gpu if your gpu is hitting 99 percent with a game opened you want to be on ultra and if you're on a laptop, most likely you're gonna be need, you're gonna need to go on ultra either way. Otherwise, just stay on on because ultra. If you're not on 99% GPU usage, it'll kind of cost some FPS drops. So just stay on on, perfectly fine. OpenGL GDI compatibility, prefer performance. OpenGL rendering GPU, set it to your GPU. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, highest available. Shader cache size, set that to unlimited and this tropic filtering from texture filtering off and then texture quality, high performance and thread optimization. Make sure this is on. Off is most likely gonna give you less FPS. I know some people say it'll give you lower impact, but it's not worth the less FPS. So vertical sync, make sure this is off as well. You do not want V-Sync on. Press apply at the bottom right. Now we're gonna configure the surround. Just set this to your GPU. It doesn't really do anything in the games that you would be playing nowadays, but just set it to your GPU just in case. Adjust the tab size and position. This is where it's really dependent on what you're gonna do. So if you're gonna run stretch res, keep this on full screen. If you're not gonna run stretch res, you're just gonna run native or you're just gonna run uh, display scaling. Do no scaling. But I know some monitors are still able to display scale with aspect ratio. So if that's your if that's your case, then keep it on aspect ratio. Otherwise, just do no scaling because anything else will most likely try to force GPU scaling. But otherwise, if you are native, no scaling is perfectly fine. And you could do it for multiple monitors if you want. But we're just going to set to no scaling. Click desktop at the top. Click enable developer settings, manage GPU performance counters, set this to allow, and then press apply. And now this is gonna restart your GPU driver. Just once it's done, click yes on the little pop-up. I can't really apply this currently because I'm recording and I'm using the GPU to record, so it's gonna stop the recording. Press apply on this, press yes, whatever the pop-up shows after your screen 
let's come back that's pretty much it on how to optimize your nvidia control panel you could do some other settings in here for example and adjust the video color settings for example like you could do with nvidia settings advanced full colors pop out a little bit more on your monitor if you go to adjust desktop color settings on the left digital vibrance is a really good really good tweak that you could do you can set it to 100 percent or I like the sweet spot, which is 75%. It really makes the colors pop even more. For example, in games like Call of Duty, you can see a lot clearer with this on 100% slash 75%. So play around with digital vibrance. It's obviously personal preference. It doesn't really affect performance at all. That is that for Nvidia control panel. If you have any questions, comment down below which questions you have. I'll make sure to answer them. But otherwise, if I helped you, like, subscribe. Peace.